I'm having to come to terms of a few things this week. Loss being one of them. I say this week, story-wise. Actually, in terms of real life, I'm recording this straight after the previous episode because, yep, yeah, my beard does grow a bit quicker than than this. Okay, don't think I've like taken a like a week out and then oh, he still hasn't grown. What is he? Twelve. The reason for that is obviously Jaffet Tanganga. Forty-eight million pounds I accepted in the last episode. I've got a feeling he's going to go, and I don't know how I'm going to replace him. It's another episode of the FIFA 23 career over Derby. It's yet more drama. And it's yet more transfers. <laughs> Get excited, everyone. Let's do it. That's right, everybody. It is still the best FIFA career mode on YouTube. I'll say it again, but I won't put it in the title. Can't have two titles in the same series. Made that mistake before. Never do it again. Where we are kicking off with the game directly against Norwich, and then we will be getting into Jaffa Tanganga matters, as well as maybe a Carabao Cup game against Aston Villa, depending on how I am feeling. And maybe a game against Chelsea as well. We don't know. Anything can happen. Anything can happen. No. Stop it, Ellie. I don't keep Ellie Golding, like, here. Just, like, you know, she doesn't live with me. I mean, trust me, I, I wish she did. It'd be it'd be pretty good. But she doesn't. Constantly texts me all the time. Just, I've got Abby. So, you know, ball and chain and all that. Anyway, football matters. On the pitch, all very well and good. Beat Wolves in our first game of the season. Very, very happy. Bit of bad news. Jankovic is injured. But we all, we all knew... We all knew there'd be something, because there always is. And that's making me think that we are definitely going to need to get another centre-back, because guess what? I'm running out of them. A.K.A. I don't actually have any more after this. In terms of the lineup, I'm probably going to... Stick with the same lineup, but with Dardai coming in for Jankovic, and Silva's going to move over to that left-hand side, because he's got the pace to sort of deal with the ones on the wing. And Norge and Anjorin, I think that's how you say it, or Anjorin, he's going to get... A little bit of a run out again at Cam. He did not impress me in the first game. He needs to do better if he's going to stay in that lineup because Marino came on and really played very well. So snapping at his heels. In terms of Norris, they got a couple of really good players. Uh, Matt Seymour's a player I've got a lot of time for. They've got... Oh my God, I can't believe it. They've got Bane in goal. Oh, you think the darkness is real? You merely adopted FIFA. I was born in it. Molded bad. Don't know if that's a good impression or not. I'll find out in the recording. Right, uh, for us then, it is Stefan in goal, Jimenez, Silva, Dardai, Tanganga. <laughs> it could be his last game. Uh, Vagnaman on the right, then I, I've realised if I sell Tanganga, I've got to get in a centre back ASAP. Uh, Sooty, aka Alexandra Popoblos. Yep. He's. <laughs> He's in there with Junior, Dina, and Bimbe. I've literally got two really, really difficult names to say in that midfield. And Norjin is in the middle uh, behind James and Louis Theroux, who both played very, very well in our opening game. Both got themselves off the mark. I will change squad numbers this season, I promise. Can't believe Norwich are back in the Premier League. It's almost like it happens every season. Might not actually happen this year, we don't know. But Carrow is a lovely stadium, to be fair. So hopefully this is a team that we can get another three points against because frankly they're going to be down the end of the table with us you would like to think as Jimenez finds James gets out of his feet James hits it this guy is incredible it's terrible goalkeeping but I'm falling in love with James already it's an absolute rocket to get us off the mark and Norwich is stunned Charles James just hits it with his left foot and it just bends into that far corner actually I, maybe I did the goalie a disservice there it's it's a very good effort it's right into the far corner two goals and two matches and he also got two assists this guy is excellent really 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 good Akiampong is absolutely rapid what a wonderful that's a great tackle by Dardai ref don't believe it don't believe what they tell you it was definitely a foul Hello, they're doing step overs and stuff here. Oh my god, what a header! And then it's cleared by Tank. That's a foul. Thank you. Got away with that there. What a free kick. I said we got away with it. I mean, ultimately, you can't do anything. It's just a really good free kick. James. That's a really poor ball. Really poor. He's left footed as well. I expect him to make that. I should have really given him a better body position. Aki Ampong's so quick. What a save, Zach. 
What a save, Zach Steffen. What a save again, lad. And we've managed to keep it in. Brilliant play by Zach Steffen there. That was a miraculous save. Really, really. Oh, he's absolutely done you. Good ball by Abimbe. Love that. Oh, what a ball. Louis Theroux. He's got his mate in crime. Tease it. James. Oh, he's... Oh, someone that can finish. Yes. I love a left-footed player. I bet a left-footed player's name is right foot is. And you could tell that. Not for a second did I think I was going to miss that. Theroux and James. I mean, the goalkeeping is suspect. But to be fair, he's in a one one So, you know, it is what it is. I wouldn't expect Stefan to save it. Actually, knowing me, I probably would if it suited my agenda, which is that I'm not bad at the game. James is absolutely unbelievable. City plays it into Andorra. That's a great ball. Louis Theroux, it's three. We are cutting Norwich apart. And suddenly, the Derby machine is rolling. I can't remember the last time I gave someone a pasting. I don't know if we've given anyone a pasting in the series. This feels like it could be one. We're just absolutely destroying them on the counter-attack. Louis Theroux is a brilliant finish, but James's hold-up play and passing is sensational. It's so good. He's so good. I like a bimbe in the middle of the park as well. I think he's got all the traits of a of a Mike of a micromunch sort of midfielder. Which is that he's just big and he's strong and he's quick. <laughs> Basically. 3-0 at the break. The locals are not happy. The away fans are absolutely delirious. Can't remember the last time I was 3 0 up ever. Well, with a midweek game in mind, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to make a couple of changes. So I'm going to bring Marino on again. I'm going to give Sissoko a run up for Wagnerman at right back. And that's it. So Marino and Sissoko come on. Off go Wagnerman and Azurin. Should have done a little bit better there. I mean, that's really, really poor from Norwich. They had a chance to break on it there and they absolutely muffed it. Marino into Louis Theroux. It's 4-0. The strikers are absolutely lethal. And I love that. Louis Theroux gets another goal. He's going to be chasing down James, I think, here for a golden boot in our team. That's for sure. Maybe they can actually make a race for the golden boot in general. I'm getting ahead of myself. We're going to win the league. I don't know where I'm going to focus on the League Cup with Villa. If I'm just going to focus on the FA Cup, I just think that our squad's not big enough to go deep into multiple competitions. With the arrow. I mean, this would be a great start. As he finds... Oh, that's lovely by Chimiti. Sissoko to Dina Abimbe. Oh, that's not the best ball by uh, City there, but we'll go with it. Oh, this is lovely. James for a hat-trick. He's... Oh, he's so good. We're so good. I'm so excited. It's five. Two for Rue. Three for James. Marry me, boys. The football was lovely. Ribeiro, great first time player there by City. Wondered if he was offside. That's why I took my time with the finish, actually. But lethal. I think they might have 100% shot accuracy at this rate. It's insane. I love it. I'm so here for this. James waits, finds Ribeiro. It's a decent ish touch. He's found a really good ball to Marino. Oh, Chimit was nearly around the back. It's not the best ball by Marino, to be fair. He should have done a little bit better there. He had so much time. Riviera again, he's causing havoc. Chimiti, what a ball. Abimbe gets his first goal for the club. It's 6-0, and Norwich cannot, they cannot handle the Derby machine right now. Lovely first touch by Chimiti, and he could have shot, but I thought, nah, you know what, we're a team player, squares it across, great finish. Happy, happy days. This is what I've been waiting for, this team feels like a micromunch team don't concede Tanganga's got a little bit oh we really wanted that clean sheet and it's come down that's what I'm saying Tanganga just not good enough don't know why you celebrate mate you're 6-0 down lad it's just one down now I suppose Gabriel Sara who rattled the bar earlier in the first half and things were a little bit more even if that had gone in could have been a different game but it didn't so shut up Silva, I mean, he is just next level. Honestly, I cannot tell you how good he is. As is James. Chimiti. Oh, I thought he was going to do him there. Oh, Ribeiro. Tease it. James hits it. Oh, see if he can score on his right foot. 6 1. A bit annoyed by the goal conceded at the end. But in terms of a performance, 
magic. And the fact we can score goals now, it makes a huge difference to our goal difference. Because last year our goal difference was pitiful. This year, we, we've actually got enough firepower, I think, to beat teams. Oh, having said that, I scored a lot of goals at the start of last year. And then I kind of faded away towards the end. So, we'll see. I never really got up ahead of form. That was the thing. Winning two games in a row last year was so difficult. This year, maybe we can get that moral, get that morale going. He's gone. Tanganga is gone. We've got 41.5. Oh, Tanganga's gone. It helped me set a long-term goal of increasing the club's wealth, though, which is good. Arias is a player I'm, I'm happy to get rid of. Uh, I don't particularly rate him. He, I just bought him in because he was an extra body. But if it gets us some more money, I'll do it. Apparently, I can get him for about 7.5. So let's just go 7.5 from Bologna. Will you take that? There you go. 7.5 million for Arias, who I think has made one performance in his career for us. You were very good, Dardai. I think Dardai and... Um, Darn, I fitted in well there. But I need to get a player in before one of our next games because I can assure you, we need a defender. And the player I have in mind is Armel Bella Kotchap. A couple of people have been kind of asking about him for a while. And Umar Saleh. I know that they're both good and I, I, you know, I go off your guys' recommendations. If you guys think he's very good, then brilliant. I also think it's quite realistic. We can definitely get Bella Kotchap off Genoa. They're not exactly pulling up any trees. So... We'll definitely go for that. I'm just gonna test the test the water here. I'm gonna go. What if I gave you Oliana? And if you're ever struggling to find out what the value is, and you just want to go straight for it, this is a good way of doing it. Offer a player up. They'll give you what value they think that you should be putting in for him, and go from there. They're saying 25.2, 23.2. I don't want to risk any more because the tension meter is quite high. 23.2. I think is good. Save myself two million quid on him. I'll take that. And let's see if we can get him in before the start of next of the next game. That sign bonus is fine. We've got 875k in the wage budget, so let's see what rating is. Normally, I'd like to scout them out properly, but we'll see. 48 million for Tanganga. Thank you, mate. You've been a loyal servant. You've been a loyal servant, Jeff. It's an excellent deal, though. Best possible deal was 48.2, and I got 48 million. So. Bella Kotchap for 23.2. Now, do I go for Soleil as well? I want to uh, see. He's got active release course of 36.5, which I could just pay. No. I, I like to try and get myself a deal. They're, they're staying at 25. Okay, 25 million for Soleil. I'll take it. I don't think attacking-wise is an issue anymore. I think defensively is the real issue for us these days. So, if I can... Oh, uh, hello. Oh, I've got wages to burn, mate. 50k. And while you're at it... Have a 300k signing on bonus on me. And he's happy with that. That's fine. I don't care if I'm overpaying him. I've got loads in the wage budget. There goes Jaffet. It's alright then, mate. For you, I've gone off and I've signed two absolute beauties of centre-backs. Well, I think that's not bad. Not bad business at all. I just saw Jaffet leave. He's leaving twice. 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 Oh, what a prick. There we go. I believe that that is Arias on his way out. And that's fine, mate. I never played you. So, not really that bothered. Sorry. Another 5.5 added to the pot. And that leaves finances back at 25 million. So, there you go. Basically, Tanganga and Arias have covered the transfers of Soleil and Bella Kotchap. Brilliant. Okay, so we've got the... Car Am I really bothered about the Carabao Cup? Well, I just simulated the game and watched it all. Um, 5-4. This is why we didn't play it, to be fair, because I don't know how I'd cope with the sheer amount of goals as, as well as the ones we had in Norwich. But we're out of the Carabao Cup. I am sorry to people that want me to play the Carabao Cup games. It's just not a competition I'm taking particularly seriously at the moment. When we have a big enough squad to kind of go for the quadruple, which will ultimately be the aim of this series then yeah, we will definitely obviously be doing that. I'll be playing all the games, okay? But until then, let's not worry about it. What we should worry about is Chelsea, because that's who we've got to deal with right now. Chimiti did get a hat-trick in that last game, by the way, so he's going to be expecting to start. Chelsea have only got one point so far, whereas we have got six from six. This is arguably, well, this is the hardest game of our season so far. And with that in mind, what am I going to do? Am I going to... See, I think Dardai has been really good. 
So do I take him out? I think we're going to. Let's get Belakotchap in. So it's a pretty much change back four. It feels a bit harsh to do that because why would I, Why should I change it, really? Everyone's been really good. Uh, so it's Stefan, Jimenez, Soleil, Silva, Belakotchap and Wagnerman as the back five. And goalkeeper, then you've got uh, Abimbe and Suti in the middle with Anjorin. I think he's still going to play in that place. Marino got a goal midweek as well, so he's obviously in a good vein of form. Uh, but Anjorin is going to play in there. And you've got James and Rue, the terrible twosome up front. And I said Rue through. Thank you. Right, off we go then for the final game of today before transfer deadline day. Let's see how our new signings, Salai and Bella, Co Bella Kocak, get on. They're going to get a, a tough examination, I would have to guess, for this Chelsea side. That's a nice play by Chelsea. Raheem Sterling up against Silva. Bring it on, you snake. Oh, bloody hell, there we go. Oh, my word, they're moving it so quickly. Asensio's in. It's a great save by Zach Stefan. And are you kidding me? I mean, that's so harsh on Bella Kotchap. He makes a really good block. And it falls to the snake, Raheem Sterling. Gutty. <laughs> That's a little unlucky, it's safe to say. Reem Stone's got his first goal of the season. I should really probably stop calling him Snake. I think he can probably hear me. I don't know what it is, but Dardo brings like a really kind of calming influence to things at the back. Without him there, I'm feeling a little bit... How is that a foul? What? How long do you want the bloody advantage until they score? Is that how this works? Great header away there by Silva. It's fallen into them in the box. What football that is. You can't do anything about that, but it's a good save. Sansa denied by Stefan, who I have to say has been very good in the goal so far. He's not been at fault for any of the goals we've conceded. Come on, Jimenez, move. Oh, good ball there by Silva into Jimenez. Jimenez. James finds a Jean in. This is it, mate. For your first goal, you idiot. What a miss. That is up against Reese James. Reese James, I'm going down the wrong side. I'm not going to get a lot of joy out of Reese. I think it's safe to say. Well, it's one really lucky goal for Raheem Sterling. That's the difference. Other than that, nothing really between the two teams, to be honest. And Jordan made a really good run. His actual play has been quite good, but I'm not sure he's the answer in that camera. I think Marino brings me a little bit more in terms of attributes. And Jordan's more my kind of player. But I do feel that Marino has made a much better start to his derby career. That's a good... A bit of play there. So this is a really good attack. Jimenez. He's finally got past Reese James. He tees it. James hits it. He cannot stop scoring. Ah, James. Charlie James makes it 1-1. Love him. Absolutely love him. Brilliant finish. This is no nonsense. I love it. He's got a no-nonsense haircut. No-nonsense beard. No-nonsense finishing. Love him. 1-1. It's the least we deserve. We've been really good. Again, it comes down Jimenez's side. We finally beat Reese James there. And he gets there just before... There's a little bit left on him there, which I'm not particularly impressed with. It takes three of them to try and block him, but he makes the most of it. Well done, boys. And Joran. Here we go. It's got to be a good ball. It's a great ball. James, great touch. Oh, my word. He's unreal. And Joran, that is what I've wanted. That is what I've been waiting for. What a ball that is. Look at that touch. An incredible first touch. Never in doubt. What a finish. What a footballer we have on our hands here. And what a start to the season. If we win this, three wins from three, and beating Chelsea, that's laying down a marker. Maybe we're a bit better than I thought we were. For all the fact that James is obviously making a massive difference, I think Silver might be the best signing I've made. He's absolutely unbelievable at the back. James to Jimenez. Jimenez plays a good ball through it and Jorin who's having a much better day until he did that. He's made one really good pass and missed a sitter. That's probably been about it. Marino's going to come on. Chimiti's going to come on for Louis through. Not really been his day, safe to say. Uh, I'm going to get Sissoko on for Wagnerman and I'm going to get Ribeiro on for Jimenez. So we're going to make a few changes and I might bring Dardai on as well to shore things up at the back in a bit. But I actually think the back three of... Uh, Bella Kotchap, Soleil and Silva have been really good. I like the fact they're all real players as well. That's a nice a nice difference as well. He's made a decent run here. What a ball by Soleil. Chimiti. What a goal. 3-1. Lovely assist by James. It's all about Soleil for me. Soleil on that left-hand side has been, of the defence, has been absolutely 
unbelievable. And it's another great goal by Derby County. The counter attacking football. The ball here from Soleil. It's just the two up front. They can't handle it. Lovely from James. And Chimiti gets his first league goal of the season. Just reminding us all he's still here. Four goals for him in two matches. Five and three for James. And Theroux's got two and three. The strikers are all over it right now. This is great, great stuff. Just see it out. Well, and Zach Stefan. I have to say, un low key, been very, very important, I think. A little bit of experience, which is something we don't have in bucket loads in this team. A bin bait, lovely ball. Chimiti, you know what happens here. On his right foot, he still scores. James has got a hat trick. James is unflipping believable. He's unbelievably good. Charlie James, bang. Right foot, left foot, does not matter. Charlie James, marry me. It's Derby 4, Chelsea 1, bring on ultimate difficulty. That's what I say. See, I can be good at FIFA. This team isn't even as good as anyone else in the league in terms of attributes. I've just got competent footballers. And I've finally found a team that suits the way I play. Charlie James, three shots, three goals, standard service. They didn't even deserve their goal, really. Um, I say that. It looked quite even. I didn't think at any point we were in danger. Like, literally ever. I felt in complete control of that game. I'm delighted. What a start to the season. We've just got so much firepower. It feels amazing. I'm so happy. This is an interesting one. Anderson. Uh, he, he doesn't have a place in the team. I might sell him. There's obviously potential, but I think I can probably sell him. I'm going to go 20 million. Oh, of course. Um, I like to say Elliot Anderson. Um, he's a good player. I've absolutely conned Stevie G like he conned Villa when he went into the managerial interview. Love it. Anderson's gone 15.5 million into the coffers, and that means 41 million pounds to spend. Hmm. The only other player that I'm thinking might be a really good addition is Benjamin Sesco. But then how am I going to play it all? Because then I've got Chimiti, Durame, Louis Theroux and James. I only really need four strikers. I'm going to try it and see if we can get him. Because he's still at Bochum. I feel like this is realistic because he's still at Bochum. If he'd moved on, I'd say no. But he hasn't. I'll go off a of value and see what they say. They want 47 million. 36 million. They say 36 million. You cheeky bastards. You were trying to sell them for 47 million a minute ago. Well, Benjamin Sesco, this could be. This could be game changing, actually, I have to say. We signed Benjamin Sesco, which I think we're about to. Maybe relegation isn't what I should be looking at. Maybe I should be looking at Europe. He's happy. Benjamin Sesco. Welcome, welcome my friend, to Jurassic Park. No, welcome to Derby County. And that is the entire budget. Well, not the entire budget. That's a big chunk of it gone. And I think he would come automatically in for Louis Theroux, which I think is a little bit harsh. But, I mean, talk about depth now. It's We've got a really good, probably, I'd say 20 players that are like near on Premier League quality. So... This is pretty good, all things considered. I think we've made a really good step in the right direction. There's a nice balance to it as well. There's a few players that are in their prime in that 25 to 28. I've got a couple of players that are sort of 30-ish or so, and I've got a load of young talent coming through as well. But that, that front two of James and Sesco, that's going to be frightening. We've got enough right-backs. I can sell Martins for 2 million quid. That's, that's nothing. Well, that was entertaining, I have to say. In terms of an episode... Not bad, and in terms of the start to the season, very good. And next time out, then we'll go back to the three games per episode mantra that we've had, and we've got Brentford away, Palace at home, and then Spurs away. And I think, arguably, we could get another two wins back-to-back -back before we actually get stuck into Spurs. So I think we could end up being in a really, really good position um, in a couple of weeks' time, or in, a, in an episode's time. If we're still first... We're in with a shower here, I think. We've made an absolutely blistering start to the season. The squad now has been arguably strengthened in nearly every position. Um, what do you think? I mean, what what is the aim now? Is it Europe? Is it the title? What do you guys reckon? 
Um, I, it can't be the title. If it is, I'd up it to ultimate because I want this to have a nice organic flow to it. And if I'm suddenly winning the Premier League the second season that I'm in it, then no, it's it's just not realistic. So I would up it to ultimate and maybe put some sliders on and make it a little bit more difficult. Um, but we'll see because I said that before. It, we might just be in a good run of form. Uh, and I have played some of the poorer sides of the division, probably minus Chelsea. Uh, that's no offence, but I've played Wolves, Chelsea and Norwich. All three of them are in the bottom four. So we've had a, a bit of an easier start. Brentford should be a little bit more of a challenge. But we'll find out next time if they are or not. Thank you so much for watching today's episode. I hope you have enjoyed it. Of course, if you are, then or if you have, then please do drop a like on the episode. Share, subscribe, do all those lovely things. And of course, say goodbye to Jaff. It light a candle. Watch, watch your dinner. Uh, while, while you know, watch your dinner. Eat your dinner while watching this episode. I'm all over the place. Eat your dinner while watching this episode. Take a moment for Jaff. It. He's been a loyal servant, but we're so much better for it. His transfer has been a game changer. So I'll see you next time for the brand new Derby County. Take care of yourselves, everyone. Stay cool. We love you, Jaffa.